Welcome to the Bambanani series. Every child has a right to quality education and teaching inclusively can contribute to achieving that goal. This series of videos illustrates how teachers are teaching inclusively in South African classrooms. The videos focus on teaching numeracy and literacy in the foundation and intermediate phases. To support participation and learning by all learners, the teachers in the clips differentiate their teaching methodologies, content and assessment strategies, and classroom environment. Let's join hands to teach every child. My name is Maputi Mulaudi. I'm a grade 3 teacher at Dr. Knack Primary School. Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? How are you this morning? Well, normally when we start with the lesson, on Monday we start with the phonics, then we go on to reading, to, to, to comprehension reading. We read a story. When we read a story, we have a first read of the story, where we introduce the story, the cover of the story, the pictures in the story. Then we also learn about the words that we are going to get in the story. We read a beautiful story in the book. Okay? Yes. Do you still remember the story? Yes. Okay, right. I want you to tell me the name of the story that we read. Again, la story say Can everybody say the name of the story? We go camping. We go camping. In my class, when I teach English, I code switch a lot so that learners understand. Uh, the, 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 the sentences or the words, the instruction that I have said in English. But I would also like them to speak more, to use English more, so that they are ready for grade four, because in grade four they will have to use English as a medium of instruction. So we call it switch, but then I allow them to say that in English again, so that after they have understood what I explained to them, then they must then say it, say it in a full sentence. If they answer in one word, I always say to them, can you put that in a sentence? Or if there's a mistake and I have corrected after correcting, then I will ask the learner, can you please say that again? Do we know, do we still remember where the children went when they, when they went camping? Do we remember where did they go? Baile kokai. Bonolo, they went to a game park. I want you to say that in a sentence. By where did they go? They went to the game park. Can you say that? They went to the game park. Can we all say that? They went to the game park. All right. Then we go on to reading the story the next day, trying to explain and make learners understand what the story is about. Then the third day, we read the story again, trying to understand the characters. I ask the questions, and then we also take out some of the language that is being used in the story. If there is a past tense, there, 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 there are punctuation marks, they are nouns, they are adjectives, then we also take all those out so that learners understand the story better. Kenya Kahori, Omunlo Omunwalin, Alibele Kamu story, ne? Osilibele Kabuz, I can't respond to the Rabaras Balarat. Rabaras Balarat. Right, I want you to look for nouns. Remember, really, the nouns again, the naming words. Kimaina Adilo, I care. Right, I want you to check for anything. Oh, na kana ngoro kili na laselo. It's a naming word. Ulebele la kabu. Check it. Ulebele la kabu. And we don't push our why or into kili na lasel. Today on Thursday now, we extracted the nouns and we wanted to do the plural form of nouns from the story. We took the nouns out of the story, the singular nouns, then we changed them into plurals and also make sure that learners understand the rules, that you don't just change 
there's a rule that you need to follow when you change your, your, your singular nouns into plural nouns. I want to show you the singular nouns from your story. Animal, you said animal. This is an animal, right? Is it one or are they, is it singular or plural? Singular. Singular animal. Right, so in plural it will be? Animals. Animals, we we'll put it here. It will be, and normally at the end of each and every lesson because it's the first additional language, English we teach it as a first additional language. We try and do a little game or just a little activity to make sure that learners understood the lesson. And we don't, I normally don't want to do it as strict so that learners get scared if they get the answers wrong. So we use the ball toss and many other activities. So in this lesson we use the ball toss just to check if they can remember from the top of their heads, singular and plural. And if you make a mistake, we can throw to another one, then let that one say the right answer, we throw it at you. So it's part of correcting, but we are not correcting roughly. We do it nicely, we correct nicely. Dog. Dogs. Cat. Cats. Pig. Pigs. All right. Tree. Tree. <laughs> Elephant. Elephant. Flower. Flowers. When we start uh, the English lessons, we normally start with a song. It, it, we, we want to create that transition. They must know that we are moving from another lesson to the next lesson. Then we will sing a song. Then throughout the lesson, when, they, when I see that uh, some of them are not uh, concentrating, then I can ask them to do something. Just sing a short song, clap their hands twice, or shout, or anything then, so that I can grab their attention again. And they love songs very much. We've got a lot of songs that they love. Okay? Are we ready for the worksheets? Are we ready to write? Yay! Let's do E-A, 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 Now we're going to write. We normally design worksheets and activities in such a way that we have the simple questions and then we also have the average questions and the more difficult questions because we have learners are at different levels so that all of them can attempt the questions and the most difficult ones we normally put them at the end so that at least when they start writing each and every learner can start writing although i allow them to ask a lot during uh, the writing activities they are allowed to ask a question they are allowed to ask how is this written so i want us now to write something about the singular and plurals so that i can see that you understood this lesson again i will read the instructions to you then and then english English, we can read in English, but if you don't understand, you can also raise your hand up, then the teacher will come and help you. And also, I also ask them most of the times to talk to each other, to share what they are going to write. And I also teach them that writers think before they write. They don't just write and erase, write. You think, then you plan your words, and then you put them down on paper. Let's see if I can get a program. Maybe I have two new crowns. I always offer uh, extra support to learners that struggle during writing activities. As I walk around, I can see that uh, if they make a mistake, I correct. Like the learner that wanted to say, I buy two shoes. Then I was able to correct that, that you cannot say with, with, with verbs, with the irregular verbs, buy changes to bought. It cannot be buy. So you, I get an opportunity to change all those. I don't wait for an exact lesson that speaks about verbs to do that. So I, 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 I correct as they are writing. Bide. Okay, bide. Right. Ka English, my baby, ne? Arena buy. Dagger. Buy. Right. Because uh, Renalidi rules, like I said to you, we've got rules. 
then re na le mantšu a ile gore a break the rules like like bye you got past tense e ka se be bye ka past tense e ka se be bye because it breaks the rule e ba bot bot oi ba so go nyo gore i buy o tlo re i bought this is what you write when i want to buy